It's a brisk February afternoon outside of St. Paul, Minnesota, as I'm traveling south on U.S. Highway 61, heading towards the Canadian Pacific River subdivision. I had a free day from work, so I took the opportunity to explore a CP mainline. Having snow on the ground was also a big plus in my book. Today's plan would be to follow the Mississippi River heading towards Red Wing. Our starting point begins at the beginning of the river sub at the Hastings Depot, finding a red board at the control point, marking the end of double track. But shortly afterwards, CP train 475 slowly comes to a stop, as they were instructed to provide fuel readings to the dispatcher before reaching St. Paul. <laughs> After crossing the river, they proceed onto BNSF trackage. All inbound CP trains have to contact the BN so they can get a signal at St. Croix Junction heading towards St. Paul. After train 475 did just that, they were on the move west. Although I wish I had more time to explore this location, the Hastings Riverwalk is a great place to check out, with a nice view of the active Milwaukee Road drawbridge. This bridge stays closed until barge shipping season, which usually starts around late March, running through mid to late November. You can also get a glimpse of the BNSF St. Croix subdivision in the distance. As cold as it was, you can see bits of ice flowing down the river, but it'll get more interesting down the road. 
The river walk itself was all covered in white, which made for great photo opportunities, at least for myself as an out-of-towner. There wasn't a whole lot of people walking on these sidewalks, since there were numerous ice patches in the area, making for some slick conditions. Moving on down the river sub, I stopped at CP Blackbird East, the east end of the double track main. A flashing yellow, or advanced clear to stop, indication is lit for a westbound. In CP terminology, this means proceed. Next signal is displaying clear to stop, or a yellow signal, and be prepared to stop at second signal. This indication would be for the Hastings local, train G76, powered by an old GP38AC number 3018. I then moved to the Church Road grade crossing outside of Stroms, with portions of the tracks bleeding ex Sioux Line territory. Train 583 approaches speeding westbound with a 1x1 engine setup, and all being Union Pacific power. CP583 is an empty crude oil tanker train out of Bensonville, Illinois, and runs to either Roseth, Alberta, Edmonton, Alberta, or Wilkie, Saskatchewan, all across the border into Canada. I'm not sure exactly where this one was heading to. Behind the tanker train, a clear signal lights up in the distance for hot intermodal train 198, carrying domestic containers out of Roberts Bank, British Columbia, heading for Bensonville, Illinois. There were three engines in their consist, but set up as one leading up front, one in the middle, and one pushing on the rear. The horn was very faint as well.
as I'm not really chasing CP-198. I continued moving south on US Highway 61. The Mississippi River is now in view and is completely frozen on ice. The drive gets very scenic worthy as you head towards Winona, but I only went as far as Maple Springs. This is a unique spot with the tracks on a sharp curve along the Mississippi. You can also see in the distance across the river on the Wisconsin side the BNSF Northern Transcon as an intermodal train moves eastbound. I had a great shot set up for this incoming CP westbound, but with it being so cold, I waited in the car hoping to hear them on the radio. It wasn't until then that train 575 snuck up on me at speed. Train 575 is another one of those empty crude oil trains, but this one runs out of Kansas City, Missouri, and heads to either Roseth, Alberta, Wilkie, Saskatchewan, or Edmonton, Alberta. attempted to chase them west. They of course got a head start on me, so it was hard enough to keep up. As I arrived in the city of Red Wing, I heard them say they were taking the siding at Duke to meet an eastbound. With that, I let them go and set up at the old Sioux Line Depot now the Red Wing Amtrak Station and Visitor Center. The ADM Chemical Refinery sits on the south side of the station. Across the tracks is Levy Park with views of the Mississippi and the Red Wing Eisenhower Bridge over the river. A clear signal then lights up at the milepost 370.4 Intermediate for CP Train 474 a daily manifest freight train from Pig's Eye Yard in St. Paul, Minnesota to Kunicky Yard in Kansas City, Missouri. CPAC44CW8519 was at the lead with a nice P5 horn.
Hearing that another westbound was close, I waited out for them as the intermediate signal lights up, indicating they're in the block. It was CP381, an empty grain train out of Bensonville, Illinois, heading for Thief River Falls, Minnesota, Portal, North Dakota, or Minot, North Dakota. With the sun starting to set, I had time for one more train before I had to start heading back to St. Paul. I found a good patch of light as train 384 approaches the Sturgeon Lake Road grade crossing in Stroms. They had a one by one engine setup with CPES44AC8929 at the lead and UPAC45CCTE8002, serving as mid-train distributed power. This concludes my day out on the CP mainline. Thanks for coming along on the adventure with me. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, leave a like by hitting that thumbs up button, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Double check too and make sure that notification bell is turned on. See you next time from Stroms, Minnesota at milepost 378.3 along Canadian Pacific's River Subdivision.